I don't know if you guys saw, but the Copa America tickets went on sale today. And I have to say, I'm pissed at how expensive these things are. Okay. I tried. So I'm in Houston. Jake's in Austin. Connor's in New York. I looked up tickets for Mexico, Jamaica, because that game was going to be here. And I didn't find the cheapest of the cheap. Like, I think the cheapest were 110. I clicked on the one that was like 125 because it was like a slightly better view. So we're talking $15 difference here. And I thought it was going to be like 120, right? Because that's what the price told me. But of course, you use Ticketmaster. And by the end of all the fees and stuff, I'm looking at 195 for one ticket, nosebleeds, to watch Mexico versus Jamaica with... With, with all due respect to the Copa and everything that the tournament stands for, it's a CONCACAF match in mm. the Copa. I don't need a Copa America in the United States to watch Jamaica versus Mexico. And it's $200. $200. And, dude, Mexico, the tickets are always going to be expensive. But Argentina might have the most expensive tickets of any national team. Yeah at this tournament and i'm just gonna reach you guys i was trying to find the cheapest tickets for you know the three national teams that we can talk about us mexico argentina um you guys in the comments let us know if you're still going to go to the copa america have you already bought tickets to a game or did the price turn you off or did you say f it i'm a ball out you just sold all your nvidia stock and you you bought every single group stage game let us know i'm curious how many people in the in the subscriber base are going so for the united states cheapest tickets i found Against Bolivia, probably not surprising given the opposition, $80 post fees. So, where at? Not sh Arlington. <laughs> Gary World? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's actually kind of cheap, you know, to enter into that stadium. Yes, it, bro. The fact that eighty dollars is a cheap ticket, bro. We got we got live sporting events wrong in this country, but so we got eighty dollars. Okay. Would y'all would y'all pay eighty dollars? Let's say U.S. was playing Bolivia in Austin or New York. Y'all paying eighty bucks? Nosebleeds? Go see Bolivia U.S. Chat. Probably. You guys paying eighty bucks? It depends who goes not, with me. Not for Bolivia. So if an Argentine batty was like, "Let's go," you'd say yeah. Jack, you know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to ask. That doesn't even hi like like hypothetical. Oh, like, a, mm. like we know we know the mm. answer. We we've, we've seen how this mm. played out before. Mm. Okay, first date. You don't know the girl yet. All right, you just DM'd her, and she was like, "I would like to go to U.S. Bolivia for eighty dollars." You taking her for a first date? Because now you're dropping one sixty. You got to get two tickets now. I feel that's a cool first date idea. Okay. Yeah. I, I, the U.S.? Yeah, I could go see the U.S. Okay. Now, beforehand, okay. you know, we're going to the game, 160 total. But beforehand, we go going to, like, Taco Bell or something. No candlelit I'm, dinner before. Oh, I'm going to say eat before. We'll meet there. <laughs> I ain't paying for the Uber out there. <laughs> oh, no sushi date that night. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Yep. I'm going to yep. be like, walk work, work really caught up with me. She's going to be like, does he hate me? No, sweetheart, you just broke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's she gonna be. It's gonna be halftime. She's gonna be like, "I'm a little hungry," and I'll be like, "There's only one half left. We'll get food after. Right. Just wait. That's what I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm yeah. just gonna go on a 30 minute rant about intermittent fasting. How good? Just it say is. you got two legs. <laughs> you can go you walk up and buy a hot dog. I'll be like, "Hey, that's I'll a great like, idea. Grab me a hot dog." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be like, "You didn't bring your wallet? Are you asking what I want? Yeah, give me the turkey leg. Twenty five dollars. <laughs> Shit, man." That's an expect that's that's a great first date. That's a great first date. I mean, you you were you were a real one if you take a girl to see US Bolivia Copa America first date. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. True gentleman. Anyways, so that's the cheapest for the US. Nosebleeds, Bolivia, Arlington, Texas. Mexico. Cheapest tickets I could find was against Ecuador in Glendale, Arizona. Hundred dollars post fees. Mm. And I was thinking. I would pay $100 to see Ecuador, Mexico nosebleeds if it was in Houston. 100%. Yeah. I, for okay. Ecuador. That's, for Ecuador. That's the Mexico tax. Right? That is the Mexico tax, yeah. It is the Mexico. Oh, we're going to get to taxes. The next team. 
Okay. <laughs> hold your horses. All right. Okay. <laughs> hold your ponies. Um, but yeah, I, th- I feel like Mexico, Ecuador. No offense to any Venezuelans, but I think that's the I th- think that's the match in Group B at the Copa. I would pay that. But the fact then I was thinking I could be paying a hundred dollars to potentially watch Luis Romo start for Mexico. Like that's wild. But anyways, Argentina. The cheapest tickets, Argentina, Copa America. Hold on, can we guess? Guess. Two fifty. You want to guess, Connor? You scared? I am scared. <laughs> I'm gonna go big. I'm gonna say. No, you're getting flamed regardless. Yeah, three, three twenty. Mmm. No, nah, Jake was on the money. Two forty. Two forty. Nice. Two forty. Okay. Cheapest tickets against we don't even know yet against tbd canada or oh. Trinidad. yes 240 nosebleeds it could be trinidad oh my god i mean honestly when if canada beat trinidad i bet you the prices go up an extra 30 percent probably there's no guarantee that pessy even plays that game Mm-mm. there's really not right? there's really not is there you think he wouldn't play that game? No. What do you mean, no? It's a Copa. Okay, look, hear me out. Okay. Scaloni and Messi both know that going forward, they want to secure the the national team for after they both leave, right? Scaloni has already said he's looking ahead to the future for that. He's good at that. Messi is of the same mind, you know? Um, I, I, I think that if he's injured, we could see like a China situation or maybe he's like resting depending on how the group goes, you know, he wants to save himself. I don't know. I'm, I'm not betting on that. I'm not betting on that until it's elimination games. Cause I don't know. I don't know if he's going to want a stat pad at this Copa, you know, I don't know if he's going to be gunning for the golden boot. I think he wants another trophy. I think he wants Julian Alvarez to get player of the tournament and golden boot you don't think he wants three goals against trinidad i don't think he needs him no and i don't i don't i don't think he's gonna risk it yeah yeah we probably and i bet this will piss everyone off and i'm curious what people think in the comments we probably won't see a (laughs) pessy We probably won't see see a a messy appearance until the knockouts. No, no, way, no, no. I, I think I think he plays. No. He, he, he can miss one game, one maybe I don't know, man. two. If it's if he's like I don't know. or something. If you think know. he's missing that Peru game, you tripping. I don't know, man. He loves a game against Peru. He's he's not going to miss that. That has brace written all over it. I will retract my statement. He is, I can see it likely that he doesn't start any of the group game stages. Okay. I could, I could, I could, I could get behind that. I think he starts Peru. I think he starts two of them for sure. Um, But I could see him. I don't know. That's, that's more defensible, you know, that's more viable for sure. I think he's going to go 60 minutes, minutes, first game. 45 second game, so he'll start sub off at halftime, and then he might not play the third one at all if Argentina has six points already. Okay. Mm. That's yeah. what I think is going to happen. Okay. But I don't know if they play Trinidad first. They probably do. I think they do, actually. But don't quote Dang, me. Dang, you're, you're already list. saying Trinidad. <laughs> How do we feel about these these ticket prices? Let's close the loop here. You think it's fair? You think people are being charged a reasonable amount for these no, games? No, I think it's completely unreasonable, but it makes sense to me. You know, they're going to price gouge for the messy tax. And uh, yeah, like you said, live sports in this nation are completely unreasonable. I had one of my uh, one of the kids I teach was going to see uh, a Manchester United game over our midwinter recess. And he said he paid 60 euros for fifth row seats. That's ridiculous. Isn't that insane? It's just different, man. Yeah, I mean, the American sports culture is all about ticket pricing and how much, you know, it's it, it's all profit-driven. 100%. And so if there's a high demand to see some international superstars 
that never come play stateside, you know, they're going to charge whatever they feel like, like the people will buy. Yeah. Yeah. The cheapest final tickets that I could find, uh, according to Ticketmaster, were $1,200. Which, for a Copa America final, I'm going to be honest, it's a lot, but it's not crazy. Like, I remember seeing a viral TikTok that people dropped 10K, 10 bands on a Super Bowl ticket. Like, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Would I drop $1,000 if Mexico is in the Copa final? Oh, bro, that'd just be... Oh my gosh. I mean, that's a. So mm. I was considering mm. dropping a max 2K if Texas made the college football final. Damn, so you built different. But then we got waxed by Washington. So. <laughs> that saved you two bands, though. <laughs> yeah, it sure did. I called up Coach Stark and I was like, thank you, my man. <laughs> thank yeah. you, my man. <laughs> <laughs> like I had the tickets in the car. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Thank you, my man. He said, I got you, brother. Yeah. Hung up the phone. Uh, he said, I'm, a, I'm gonna expect 20%. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. He said, they give me on Dead Ball TV. Right. Um all right, last thing I want to say about this. What's the most that you guys would pay for a completely neutral game? Let's say that it was Paraguay versus Peru nearby. And you had a homie hit you up, hey, you want to go to the Copa game? I, we got nothing to do on Saturday. How much would you pay? So I will answer your question with the real life example. Because I just went through this. So like you said, Austin is hosting Venezuela versus Jamaica. Um, okay. Sometime in June, June 30th. Tickets before fees were 60 bucks for nosebleeds. And I couldn't justify it, man. I could not justify <laughs> buying the tickets. And like, I didn't think it was that bad. Like price wise, it was just like, man, I don't even know. Like, like, is this even going to uh, be a good game? You know, at the uh, end of the day? Yeah. For like 80 bucks. 80 bucks if you don't park Uber or get a beer. And, and yeah, yeah. And that's just to enter the stadium. Yes. You know, and that's that's a every- $150 day. Every it's American stadium, day. you know, I would say that is not within the Northeast. You have to pay at least twenty dollars a minimum for parking, or you're paying twenty bucks in, for for Ubers. Or if you're in Austin, you're paying hundred dollars. But um, I about to say that's a cheap that's a cheap Uber in Austin, Texas, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. For context, twenty dollars yeah, that's a steal. You had a promo code. Yeah, you're literally holding the gun to your Uber driver's head and saying. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. You say I'm still gonna pay you, which is only twenty dollars. Drive fast, right? <laughs> Drive <Yeah>. fast. <laughs> so, just... yeah, completely neutral game, and I couldn't go above that. Now, if it was like, if I could get in the stadium after taxes for fifty bucks, that to me would be worth it. Okay, for Venezuela, Jamaica, you pay fifty mm-hmm. bucks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I was thinking about it. Game that I like really don't have stakes in. Example, Uruguay Panama. Truthfully, $75. I pay $75 for tickets. And you're just paying that based off Uruguay. Well, and I love Carasquilla, but yes. It's 25% Coco, 75% Uruguay. So you Venmo Coco 25 bucks and then you send the other 50 straight to Montevideo. Yes, straight <laughs> to Bielsa. Yes. You say, hey, check your cash out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I meet the team bus in the back and hope that Karaskia recognizes me from all the Dynamo games that I've been to over the right. years. So he just lets me in. That's yeah. pretty much what I'm saying here. But yeah, $75. I'll pay $75 for a neutral Copa America game that does not involve a CONCACAF. Well, actually, I just said Panama is my example. But I like Panama. Maybe I just don't like Jamaica. Oh, God. Well, they've been known that. Um, <laughs> Connor, how much would you pay for Brazil, Colombia? Brazil, Colombia. Because mm-hmm. that's going to be a game. In New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In Rutherford. Hey. In Rutherford. Oh. Oh. oh! Um. <laughs> 
All right, uh, I'm eating some of the leftover frozen uh, pizza. Pizza? What are they? The little pizza pockets? What are they called? Not hot pockets. Bagel no, bites? Little, not crust. crust nah, ones? No, nah, what are they? Stand, the little ones. I literally have them in the fridge. I don't know. P- pizza. Pizza. Pizza powder? rolls. I don't know. Pizza rolls. Okay. I'm going to okay. be eating like 30 of those just to hold me over for the three, four hours that I'm going to be out of the house. Probably five with the commute. Um, that it's $7 for a ticket both ways. I'd probably pay 100 bucks. That's exactly what I was going to say. I for feel Brazil, like that's a $100 Columbia? game. That's a $100 yeah. game. Okay. you pay $100, Jake, if it was in Austin? Mm-hmm. But I'd have to have somebody going with me who knows about the game. I'd be wearing an Argentina jersey. Um, and uh, damn, you better calculate that hospital bill after. Maybe, maybe yeah, I'd wear that in. Maybe I'd wear the Boca jersey. Okay, eh, um, probably safer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I think that's that's what it would be, and I'd be living like a uh, hermit for the rest of the weekend, and I'd be absolutely furious when I leave with a one-one draw. Oh, when you walk out with that nil-nil stink fest, that's when that's when these ticket prices are going to sting the most. <laughs>